fight for that itch. Rarely do I see any American Italians eating in here. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. You will call it the for leave us. Yes! 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 Welcome to Real Genius. My name is Robert Wolanski. I'm the Digital Managing Editor for the Dallas Morning News. And as you may have noticed, I am not joined by my usual companion, Mr. Chris Wagner, who is currently under the weather. But I am instead joined by an 11, actually a 12-year-old, who 12. I uh, happen to be uh, acquainted with. I believe I'm actually related to him. In fact, I'm fairly certain that I might have actually helped make him. This would be Harry Wolanski. Hello, Harry. Hi. Thank you for joining me and filling in for Chris today. I do appreciate it. Yes. It's great to see you. Good to see you. So uh, you and I went to go see Mission Impossible. Yes. Uh, this is the fifth installment in the franchise, the first one that you've ever seen. I have not seen the other ones. There have been five. Uh, this is the fifth. I have seen them all. They began with Brian De Palma directing it in 1996, I believe. Now we're here we are in 2015 with number five. Kind of curious to see what you thought about it. You and I haven't really talked much about it since we saw it. I thought that maybe we'd get to it here in just a minute. Yeah. But before we do, let's take a little look at this uh, a scene in which Tom Cruise, yet again playing Ethan Hunt, is escaping from an opera house with a, a woman who may or may not be a spy or a damsel in distress or a femme fatale or something along the lines of a mystery woman. Is that fair to say? Yes. Don't quite know what she's up to. Did pretty you figure much. it out pretty quick? Uh, yes, I knew kind of where it was going, but it was still good to see where it was going. Great point. That's why he's here. That's why you're here. Let's take a look at Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. What's next? There. So I'm curious to know what you thought about it, because uh, you and I uh, did not, uh, you drove your own car to the screening. No, so. I didn't. <laughs> so I'm curious to know how you felt about it. Uh, I really liked it. I mean, it was an action movie, and I've seen a few, but not a lot, and it was good to see how it developed. Now see, my, I, my point is, I, I feel like this is every action movie ever made. I feel like it kind of blends every movie I have ever seen, like an Alfred Hitchcock movie with Cary Grant or Jimmy Stewart especially, or Casablanca, which I don't believe you've seen yet. I haven't. Or even Top Gun. There's a bit of a Top Gun reference in here starring Tom Cruise, which it's I don't think you've seen that either. Nope. So Part of it. See, I think what's kind of great about this is that you haven't seen all of the movies that it kind of puts into a blender. Yeah. So this is really kind of a big, amped-up version of a lot of movies that you'll probably see pretty soon. So I think that might have been what was cool for you, because none of this stuff felt old or familiar, right? El Cup felt kind of brand new? Yeah. It was... I saw a lot of similarities when they were, like, breaking into the, the central brain of the entire... Uh, the entire organization. Right, they're trying to get this yes. computer disk, there's some information with a, on a disk. Yeah, and it seemed a lot like uh, the Ocean movies because it, it's the exact, like they have to get the exact right timing and it just right. barely works. And I like the Ocean movies, so I really like that part of the new movie. And there's also a bit of a Get Smart thing going on too, with this one thing where he has to go through three doors. It, oh, it feels three a bit doors. Like get Smart. I, yeah, I saw that reference, and I saw the uh, the MI6 reference to James Bond right. when he when he's like, "We should warn the British government." A lot of James Bond here. 
A lot, a lot of, James of James Bond. Bond. In fact, it feels a little bit like Ethan Hunt, Tom Cruise's character, has become a lot like Daniel Craig's James Bond. Kind of tortured, kind of sad, kind of brooding. Not as much fun as he was in the early movies, right? Yeah. I didn't... Like, yes, it was... Uh, I've only seen a few of the James Bond movies, but I did see a lot of the few that I've seen in this movie. Yeah. And I really enjoyed the... Uh, I really enjoyed the MI6 reference. Did you have a favorite part of this movie? My favorite part of the movie was probably when they were uh, when they were on the motorbikes. Oh, the big uh, motorcycle yeah, chase through Casablanca. Was, yes. What did you think of the big action sequence at the beginning of the airplane that everybody keeps talking about since Tom Cruise at 53 still does his own stunts? I... Were you impressed? I was impressed. I was really impressed with that scene. And it was very energetic, and I like Simon Pegg when he was like, opened the door. Right. Well, you Everybody like Simon sees Pegg. that, yeah. Because you like, He's good. Do you like Star Trek movies? Yeah. So let me ask you this. At one point during the movie, you leaned over and said, this thing just goes on and on. Did you feel like it was too long? I didn't feel like it was too long, because I, the point you didn't see what was going to happen until the very end, but so you didn't know where how I it was didn't know end where up. it was going to end. Yeah. But so you were it just kept going on. Yes, I was surprised by the ending. So you liked the ride. You didn't care how long the ride lasted. Like if it had gone for another hour, though, you'd have been. It's over oh, two hours. It's over two hours. Did it feel like it was over two hours? Um. Yes, it did. Yeah. Did you get a little bored at any point? Not really. Yeah. There were a couple of moments where I was kind of bored, but it was still pretty action-packed through the entire thing. It is. It's really loud. It's really action-packed. There's a lot of stuff going on in this movie. Mm -hmm. So what would you give it? What grade would you give it? Like, like, honestly, would you actually? Honestly? Without, forget that I'm your dad. Forget that I'm going to give it a grade. What would you give it? B or B+. Plus. Yeah, that's why I gave it a B plus. Oh, okay. We must be related. <laughs> okay. So there you go. That's my guest critic for today, uh, Mr. Harry Woloski. I think you have a very promising future in this profession, by the way. Certainly more Thank photogenic you. than uh, Chris or me. Okay. So I think people would much rather listen and, and watch you uh, talk about this stuff. Uh, Chris, I assume we'll be back next week unless uh, viewer demand is such that uh, you're forced to join us every week, uh, okay. which could be problematic when school begins, but um, who knows? This this. This really is where it's at. Okay. You feel good about that? Yeah. Okay. Any el anything else you want to plug while you're here? I think I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Okay. So that's Harry. I'm Robert, and we'll see you next week uh, on uh, Real Genius.